What do you say to people that are speculating that this has something to do with your work for Mr. Trump? Uh, I've made my statement. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'll cooperate, and I'm uh, certain there'll be nothing found to be amiss. Might this hurt your chances for re-election? Uh, that's up to the voters. How do you think it could, or what will you do to try to get voters' trust, given the raids today? I've had the uh, trust of the voters of this uh, community for 50 years, uh, and I uh, am certain that they know that I am a person of uh, integrity and honesty, and uh, we'll see what happens. Are you scared? I mean, this has to be frightening. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Isn't that frightening to have this happen? I have great confidence in the system. As I've said, I've always cooperated with investigations, and I'll cooperate in this one, and I'm certain that there'll be nothing found to be in this. Were you surprised by today's events? I've always cooperated, and I don't uh, believe that uh, anything that uh, is looked at will be found to be amiss. What are you going to do now that you're home? After Again, had to have been a very long day. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'll cooperate in any way I need to, and I'm certain that there will be nothing found in this. Yeah, but when you go home, are you going to, I don't know, have a nice glass of wine, change into your PJs and veg out? Like, wh what comes next when all of this is going on? I've um, always cooperated with investigations. Uh, you've reported on them over the years. Uh, nothing has ever come of them. And as far as I'm concerned, there'll be nothing found here to be amiss. And once again, you can't tell us, however, I know you've said that you've cooperated. You're not going to tell us whether you have spoken with the U.S. Attorney's Office or the FBI today? I've always cooperated in investigations, and I will continue to cooperate in any way that's appropriate. And I'm certain that in the final analysis, there'll be nothing found to be amiss. But did that cooperation begin today? I mean, did they reach out to you today? I've made my statement. Now, you can continue to ask me those questions, and your answer will be the same. Do you, what is going to come next for you? Who will be representing you? I've always cooperated mm -hmm. in these investigations. I'll continue to do so. Is there anything else that you want to say to your constituents? Is there interested in what may be going on? Yeah, you're on the news nationally. I'm uh, always able to cooperate in any investigation, as I've said. There have been many investigations over the years. I've always cooperated, and there's never a, anything found to be amiss. Why have there been so many investigations? Are you a target because of, for any reason? I've always cooperated in any investigation, and I'll continue to do so. But do you have any comments on the nature of politics today, whether it has changed, or again, do you feel as if you're a target for any reason, more so than other members of the city council? I've always cooperated in investigations, and I'll continue to do so, and I don't believe that anything will ever be found to be amiss. What are your um, hopes for re-election? You said that it's up to the voters, but are you optimistic? I'm uh, always uh, placing my trust in the voters, and uh, they've been kind enough to elect me to the city council for almost 50 years, and uh, I'm trusting in them, and I hope that they'll realize that uh, I am a good alderman and I've tried to do my best for them. Why are you a good alderman? What makes you good? What you, how are you successful as a um, public servant? I think that the record speaks for itself. You don't want to give us any career highlights or while well, we have every camera tuned to you, say what you've done, what you believe that you've done successfully and well? The record speaks for itself.